<clears throat> Wait, maybe someone wants to still come. Yeah. Are you joining? We are starting if someone wants to join still. If someone wants to join, we are starting. Oh yes, that's, that makes sense. Can you please say your first name and uh, and, uh, and, and, who are you? and and your artistic name? Thank you. Perfect. Kazakhstan, great. Hello, my name is Asher Shainian. I'm the president of Wikimedia Armenia, and I'm very happy to be here. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Great. Yes. Thank you. One That's true. Rebecca. Oh, well, Rebecca. Uh, Very Hi. Hello. 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 Yes, thank you. Yeah, as a kind of user group. Thank you. Your name and where you're from, please. Uh, my name is Adil. Uh, I live from Turkey. Turkey, right? Turkey. Uh, <laughs> I wrote it. Thank you. Who are you? Yeah. yeah, who are you? Who are, yes, who are you? Yeah. That, that's Gus. He belongs to our uh, youth uh, group. And can you say where you're from? Georgia. Latvia, thank you. Now you so can enter, so yeah. Uh, hi, I'm Sailish. I work with the Wikimedia Foundation. I'm in the education and touch of it. From India. Right. <laughs> I'm Tony, I live in Scotland, Estonia, and I work for the FIFA. Oh, okay. I'm Kiro from Susonia, and I'm on the FIFA Free Comment. Hi, I'm Valentin, I'm from Ukraine. He's from the sea. Yeah. I'm Jan and I'm from the Czech Republic and I'm also from the Czech I'm Dennis, I'm the chair of the, the Civil Croatian version of Bosnia and Serbia. I'm Jan from Turkey. Yeah. And I'm Mari. Okay, my name is Barbara, I'm from Croatia, but I also feel that I'm from more places. So, our session is Meet the Sea Youth Group, and today we will have several people presenting, youth members of our group, and Clara and I are only your hosts. Yes. <laughs> Should I start? Or? You can, and we yeah, can. Um, nothing so severe, we don't present anything new or anything I believe that uh, everyone, me including, was young once, so, and, but it doesn't necessarily mean that uh, we have more editing experiences than our young participants here, that's for sure. And uh, this was like a simple idea that this year came to us, and uh, as like we have a see how we can take care of this like ideas, uh, we created the uh, see young group, but the first like initial idea went to them. So we asked them, do you, oh yes, do you want to uh, somehow meet the others from the region? Are you interested in some kind, in this kind of <coughs> initiative? And we asked first all of our affiliates and user groups, we asked ask the region if this is something they, uh, they would appreciate, and they said, yes, that's a cool idea. We do have young people, and we definitely support their uh, cooperation. So this was the initial start. Uh, yeah, as Clara said, we had first one catch-up session, a few people showed up and we really, it seemed, because those people are also here, it was very enthusiastic session and the feedback was good and 
as they showed interest to continue the work, we decided to form the group and it's nothing officially registered, it's an initiative, we call it initiative youth group and from that point on, we started to, do, to take some more formal steps in a way because during our hub first year planning, there was no, uh, we didn't have these activities explained or, or drafted and there was no budget, but we managed to somehow rearrange several things and to even secure some budget for the group, which means that after the decision was made that we will have regular meetings, uh, like online sessions, we were able to give few scholarships for, for some young members to come to this meeting. And now, good part, we are planning also our first in-person meeting, which will take place in? In Prague, of course, where yes. else? Uh, 25th of November, so... Very soon. We can accommodate uh, everyone, but we are able to give uh, several sc uh, full scholarships or more partial scholarships because Barbara found money in the CE Hub uh, budget, so that's thanks to her. So we hope we will have at least uh, maybe seven, eight, nine, depends how, how cheap we <laughs> will be, uh, people from, uh, uh, young people from the region. And as well as we are like separately creating the uh, the Czech youth group where it's already like 10 people they will come as well hopefully so we might have quite a nice attendance as we had yesterday yeah and the good part is that it's not only okay we are focusing on CE obviously that's our first thing but we already established connections with youth from the movement like world because there is Vicky Vibrance and another group which is doing stuff for youth and organizing also next year, probably in Spain, bigger youth meetings. So we are in coordination with them and we'll try to kind of sometimes merge or connect work of two groups. And uh, so that's like kind of, you're already moving in this an, an international direction. Um, as I said, no activities were planned, but we will use Prague get together to do official planning also related to Wikimania next year. Maybe you want to say something? Yeah, uh, you all know it's happened, this is happening. We would like to uh, give uh, our uh, participants uh, a chance to be active on this field and we will know what the, the November meeting brings, but we might have some uh, activities there, we might run the whole block, we might have, like, we might take over the whole organization of the Wikimania, who knows, who knows? Yeah, it will maybe just <laughs> turn into C youth meeting group. Um, so we have uh, communication channels, uh, we have our meta page, which was made by youth members, even logo was created, because we have someone creative in our group, thanks Janet. Um, so we have, uh, we are communicating via Telegram, um, if you want to be part of the group and uh, you can, so you can join Telegram, you can follow us, uh, you can be part of the mailing list. And uh, well, maybe we will have some more social channels, but that's it for now. And uh, yeah, that's it. Now we can, yeah. Yeah, if you are, uh, if you're thinking about anyone from your community, please invite them. This is the most you can do now. And uh, they doesn't necessarily be part of every call of each meeting, but they can as at least follow us. They can be on our mailing list and it's up to them how much they want to be evol uh, involved in all of this. Actually, I think that's the best point that you made because we have the group and it will not be the same level of activity because it's never possible. Some people have more time, less time, more obligations. So it's like on voluntary basis and we will try to, everyone can join as they can and some people will, well, naturally be more responsible for some fields of work. Yeah. And if, we, if uh, when we had like this CS from all of you, from all of your regions, that you are interested in, uh, in more incorporation of youth power, and then as well, we want to appreciate them, and we want you to know them better, and you know, uh, you can know what they are doing here, so this is our appreciation uh, of their work so far because they are super active on their fields, in their affiliates, in their regions, or just like helping on the different fields. So take this as an opportunity to meet them, please, and uh, this is their time. Yeah. And we are starting from...
And now we are just leaving floor to Ma Mari and she will present. Uh, you have to hold it. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, everyone. My name is Mari. I'm representing Wikimedia Armenia. So I'll start with a, um, with a short personal story about myself. Um, everything started here. That's me. <laughs> um, but actually, Wikicamp ended with this group photo. Uh, but it paved my wiki path. I was a student then who was uh, looking for um, volunteering opportunities. And I came across a, an, a call for application uh, for youth Wikicamp. I didn't know what it was then, but um, I was always struggling to find information um, on my field of studies. I was studying Turkic studies, and uh, I thought that it would be useful to uh, participate, create articles, and um, do something useful not only for myself, but also for my course mates and future generations. So I applied and uh, spent the best uh, time of my life with other 50 Wikimedians. So looking back nowadays, um, I can say that I had a couple of motivation uh, to join the movement and later to stay for more than five years. The sense of community belonging. You are not alone. There are a lot of other people who think like you and have similar interests. The urge to create trustworthy content for the greater good. The satis satisfaction of using your knowledge and sharing it with the others. Friends for a lifetime. For instance, my, one of my good friends is from my first wiki camp. A network of acquaintances from different walks of life. This is a little bit funny, but now whenever I have a doctor's appointment, there is a 30% chance that um, the doctor will be <laughs> one of my acquaintances from the wiki project. So we because we, have a, uh, we had a lot of medical um, students joining us. And the feeling of being useful. So in these five years, I encouraged a lot of uh, young people to join the movement. But also, I, while working with Wikimedia Armenia, I also saw a lot of problems uh, within the community and um, the young community. So uh, here are some of the, the issues that I um, encountered. Uh, whenever I ask a young person, why are you, uh, you should join uh, wiki movement and edit Wikipedia. The first question is, what's my benefit? What should I get from it? The second one, um, which is very much connected with these questions, is lack of motivation. And the third one is, how to make these people stay, meaning that continuity and sustainability. So Wikimedia Armenia spent a lot of time working on these issues and uh, came across a uh, various ideas um, how to solve these issues. So let's start from the first one, Viki clubs. Um, I think everyone knows that the habits that we gain in our young ages stays for a long time. So why not make editing Wikipedia a habit? Wikimedia Armenia made um, editing Wikipedia a habit through Viki clubs. Now let me uh, explain what a Viki club is. Usually this is a club within a school or um, youth center. It has a coordinator and uh, this is a person, usually a teacher uh, or an active editor. And um, the club members are school, school students who um, uh, come to wiki clubs, attend the wiki clubs and not only edit but also organize and implement various projects, edit autos, uh, photo walks um, and collaborations with local organizations. So this is the structure. Now let me tell you how it influences the youth. Um, okay, uh, especially in case of small towns and villages, um, you know, there is not much population there, so everyone knows ev everyone. Um, so if one of uh, the students goes to a wiki club and says that, oh, you know, it's fun, uh, we're doing this and that, we're having a lot of uh, exciting time, and the other ones uh, tend to go to wiki clubs as well. So what is better than peer ideas? Um, it's like a snowball effect. Mm, so it, uh, wiki clubs keep going because new generations come after the old ones. 
Um, I remember uh, an article that argued um, that v uh, Wikipedia is not a reliable source. That's why teachers and university um, lecturers do not allow their students to use it. But Wikimedia Armenia found a way to solve that issue as well um, through tra training for teachers. Um, if you can't make someone uh, believe and accept something, then make that, some, uh, that person experience it first. So we made teachers Wikimedians. Uh, through uh, special Wiki courses for teachers, we have a huge uh, teachers group now who not only contribute to Wikipedia themselves, but also encourage their students to use them in their um, learning process and also to contribute to it uh, as well. Um, so this is a way of awareness raising and also changing people's mindset. These are some pictures from our uh, wiki clubs, from different wiki clubs, and by looking at them, you can see how happy they are in the process, in not only uh, editing, but also having fun. Whenever I ask a wiki club member, why are you joining, what's your motivation, these are the um, things that they say, that it m uh, makes me feel important, it's fun, I think I'm doing a worthy job, I like being a part of a wiki club and making new friends. As a result, Armenian Wiki community has a lot of people aged 13 to 18. Uh, whenever, um, okay, yeah, that, uh, that's, that's it for the Wiki clubs. Now let's turn to our youth, more um, younger generation, 19 and older. Uh, there are two groups, um, those that I call them graduates of Wiki clubs. So these are the people who are no longer Wiki Club members because they are not school students. Um, and they're already uh, editing Wikipedia and contributing uh, in their universities. And they are also spreading the word because they are lo loyal and dedicated Wikipedians. So they spread the word and involve many newcomers. The second group um, is, uh, includes those who are not Wiki uh, Club members, but they join the movement through collaborations with universities. So by saying collaborations with universities, Wikimedia Armenia understands internships at uh, Wikimedia Armenia's office. And in case universities are outside of the city, uh, online internships. So what, uh, what do the students do? They usually like medical students, his, uh, those majoring in history, um, linguists, they t take articles of their interest, mainly about their fields, and uh, create um, and translate them or create new ones. Um, these are usually a long-term long -term collaborations uh, because Wikimedia Armenia has uh, a kind of memorandum or an agreement with the university, so each and every generation has to pass this cycle, um, uh, learning about Wikipedia and Wikimedia movement as a whole. So, um, as you can see, within eight months, we had 106 students who joined the movement. Uh, so, I think through collaborations, I think this is a good result. Yeah, also I forgot um, here to show you that currently we have some statistics, uh, seven wiki clubs and 156 active members as of August 31st. And uh, as you can see, 112 are girls and only 44 are boys. Now, okay, let me return to, um, to my slides. The biggest problem uh, while working with the youth, um, everyone will uh, agree with me, is motivation. We have worked a lot, a, a, a lot of time to find projects and things that will motivate young people. And we have uh, come across with the, the idea of Wikicamp um, here. So what are wiki camps? These are seven to nine days uh, camp, uh, including 50 to 90 people uh, who spend their time editing Wikipedia, but also engaging in sports activities, intellectual games, cultural events, singing, dancing, exciting time, you know. Uh, just to make it clear, um, you, you just, <laughs> As a person who participated in uh, vi many wiki camps, you just forget about the real world and you dedicate yourself to Wikipedia. And also there are experienced editors who are there for you if you're a newcomer 
or uh, you have difficulties with um, technical difficulties with Wikipedia. So, so that you imagine um, why is it a motivational tool? Um, because it's quite difficult to be chosen to be a participant at Wikicamps. It's quite competitive. Only those who are active editors can participate in these Wikicamps. Every, for every Wikicamp we have more than 300 applications. But, and it is quite difficult to choose only 50, 60 of them. So you can't believe how 14, 15 year old school students, university students, try actively editing Wikipedia in order and other Wiki projects in order to be chosen to be a participant at Wikicamps. So every time when Wikimedia Armenia applies for a grant and puts a lot of uh, Wikicamp um, ideas, um, we are asked why are you planning so many Wikicamps and we have only one answer for it, because it's working. It's really working. Uh, due to uh, Wikicamp as a motivational tool, uh, we have a huge community of young people who, are, who feel empowered and are part of our Armenian Wiki community. Coming to, the, coming to my motivations, I can say that uh, a lot of young people have the same motivation. I can see it, uh, I'm asking them, and they have the same motivations as I do. They obtain a sense of a community belonging, they feel satisfied uh, while they share their knowledge and they feel useful themselves. They become a part of a network of acquaintance, and uh, they find themselves, uh, they find new friends for, uh, for them. And why not also partners? Because uh, I know at least 10 people uh, who um, met their, the love of their lives and married due to Wikipedia. <laughs> yeah, yeah, at, le at least 10. Yeah, <laughs> at least 10. So I'm, I'm, um, I'm telling, so I'm telling you to join, uh, be a part, be. Yeah, that. That was my uh, last thing to say because I was saying, <laughs> join, <laughs> join, be a part of our community, and maybe you will you will meet the love of your life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. to say something so they say if you want to be a part of our huge family or if you want to make your family <laughs> join Wikimedia Armenia. Uh, thank you, it was amazing. Uh, it was really interesting. Can I ask you one question? Yes, 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 please. Uh, usually I'm afraid of the, 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 the what, why we are not doing the Turkey, the, the Wikicap, because the, the boys and girls is uh, the very childhood and the, this is the very big responsibility when the making the when so many uh, <laughs> children uh, take to the same place, it is very uh, big responsible. How we are managing that? One? Yeah. Actually, uh, 50 60 is the 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 average amount that we take to Viki camps. We had 19, 90, or 100 children. And we have a great team which um, provides safety and a safe, secure place w where we had how many? 32 Viki camps and never, never an injury, anything that happened, um, I don't know, physical or emotional, nothing. This is amazing. Yeah, this is amazing. Yeah, exactly amazing. Because, uh, amazing. Because I'm very afraid of this one. Yeah, we as well, like in Czech Republic, did uh, Wikicamp after like the experience from Armenia. And what we did was, it wasn't uh, overnight, it was during the day, like uh, that they always come for one day in a week during, the, during their summer holidays. So it was uh, like easier for us, the first step, for example. So just. Never know. Yes. Actually, 
without the coordination. Yeah. This is actually a force that we always follow. That's why we have like this Any other questions for Marie? So this, this was the most complex presentation because Marie as well is the most experienced employee from, uh, from our group. Uh, but there is another one, uh, which is Jan. So I'm handing over to him. From Czech Republic. Thank you. Well, first, Marie, beautiful presentation. Quite hard to come on stage after you. Uh, <laughs> I'm Jan, I'm from the Czech Republic, from Wikimedia Czech Republic, and I will talk about my story, how did I join, what is it like for me as a young person. So I joined back in 2019, and uh, after some time I found my place in the Senior Citizens Right Wikipedia project. Uh, so I joined the project as a trainer and uh, I helped. At first I was just collecting the courses uh, for seniors. And uh, I found that it really works out uh, with young people and old people. They were really happy that uh, there are young people that care about uh, the older people. And uh, this was my start, uh, start of my journey at Wikimedia Czech Republic. And after that, you can see I went to some uh, events. This is from our senior wiki town. It's something similar like wiki camp, but for, for seniors <laughs> and for weekend. And uh, I think more people like me that are like in Wikimedia Czech Republic uh, joining the trainer role, uh, helping in education or starting uh, wiki clubs. Next time. Uh, for example, my colleague uh, Volcanic, uh, he started a wiki club uh, in his town and uh, he's quite good at it. I would say uh, people come there, people have fun. And he's also a member of our group from Czech Republic. We have, at the moment, we have three people that are active. Uh, but we have a local group of young people as well. Uh, we have more people there, but they aren't really active as now, and we're just trying to think of ways how to make them more active. For communications, uh, this is the same colleague, Volcanic. Uh, he started a Discord server, and I, uh, he presented that at uh, our Czech Wiki conference in Prague. Um, it was quite a successful presentation. Uh, quite a lot of people joined uh, the server right away. And I think it's a great way to have informal conversations with the people. It's more uh, straight away. And uh, the mood at our Discord server is quite nice. It's quite friendly. Uh, we have nice talks there, so I think that could be uh, the way to communicate for us, for young people. Do you want to add something? Yes. Uh, as well, uh, Jan is very modest, but he as well creates several videos for us. He He's uh, doing subtitles for our Czech videos to be uh, to have the sub subtitles in English. He cre he made a great video from our uh, Wiki Gap uh, ones from v senior Wiki Town. So he has like a full palette of skills that we can use. So yeah. when I need anything, I'm usually reaching to Jan, and as well he joined our team this uh, June. So he's our a uh, junior coordinator of uh, uh, programs for editors because he's skillful editor and as well administrator on Czech Wikipedia. Yeah. So like this is just and like one he forgot Lara. to mention. And not only that, he's also part of the editing team of our CE newsletter since two weeks ago. Since two weeks ago, 
So he's very active, indeed. Uh, and now Valentin. Is there any oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Questions, 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 questions. Czech Republic, young people in Czech Republic, anything? Um, just like that you mentioned, I'm, I don't use Discord. It's not like, I'm, I'm not the generation for this, but I'm, I'm following now thanks to Volcanic. And I must say I'm quite surprised. I know in Poland, this is the platform that they use for like uh, editors as well. But it works. It's very active. It's like everyday informal, formal com comments about editing, about special articles. They are like Patrola has the, their own uh, chat there. They like uh, uh, solve everyday issues that they are like facing as as as, uh, as ad administrators. So it's quite useful. Yeah, maybe I'm not. If you are all familiar with Discord, after all. Uh, in Discord, you have a server, and the server is split into different channels, voice or text. Uh, so you can really organize stuff, have uh, different groups talking about different things. We have one uh, channel for patrol, so they do stuff for patrol there. There's a channel when you ask for help for experienced editor. Then there's chat just for like informal talks, off-topic talks, uh, when we can have fun, yeah. Thank you. All right. Uh, hi. Hi, everybody. Yeah, I think it's my slide. Uh, I'm Renvoy. Uh, my real name is Valentin. I'm from Ukraine. Although there is, this is how the story starts. Um, I'm sort of a very C person because I. Uh, apart from being born in Ukraine and raised there, I lived in Poland for a couple of years. That's why I'm also a member of Wikimedia Poland. Uh, but now I live in Lithuania, in Vilnius, so I cover this region uh, pretty much uh, pretty good. Uh, so one of the things uh, I wanted specifically to talk about uh, in this presentation, uh, apart from um, yeah, youth activities in Wikimedia Ukraine as a, my main affiliate, and I'm here as representative and official delegate of Wikimedia Ukraine. Uh, we never like specifically focused on the use of activities because uh, they sort of flown to us needlessly themselves. Uh, one of the things that we do, um, and it comes just from the editors, from members of our community, from the members of affiliate is to create uh, events in schools and universities. For me, myself, I also was making many uh, events in schools and universities that were just saying, hey, uh, we have very good uh, thought. Uh, why wouldn't you come here and teach us how to uh, edit Wikipedia? And these events, not really, um, let's say, uh, they, I think they have very important meaning with just raising awareness at least for uh, Wikipedia, just in explaining how Wikimedia works for young people, for students, for um, yeah, students at school, students at universities. Uh, another, so yeah, but uh, this is the story that was, of course, during the years 2000 till 2020, until the pandemic came. Uh, so this. Activities were quite quite frequent, yeah, so you can see a couple of photos uh, by our um, perfect volunteers. Uh, however, since yeah, 2022, 20, yeah, 20, COVID came, and then of course uh, Russian invasion started, which sort of we needed to sort of yeah uh, change our priorities and activities in that regard. For example. Um, one of the th events that was or or organized last year by, um, I think it was uh, user uh, Visam, was the training at <coughs> Kyiv Military University. So for military students to also uh, raise awareness between them about Wikipedia. But they are also young people, and this is one of the young um, uh, people activities that we do. Uh, Speaking about uh, Wikimedia Ukraine as an affiliate, we have quite um, good um, sort of representation of young people between our employees. Me, myself, also was an employee um, like last year for four months, a uh, year previously for four months. And I think on the median, our uh, uh, like 
median age of Wikimedia Ukraine employee is quite low. So we have many, most of our employees are quite of a young age. And of course, Discord, of course, also as a, apparently Wikimedia Czech Republic uses, and of course, Wikimedia Poland also uses, and Wikimedia Ukraine. But uh, of course, as always, this activity comes not from affiliate itself, it comes from volunteers. And uh, our server is not um, that st structurally used. We were using it for many purposes. And of course, as young Wikipedians tend to ask many questions, many questions on social media, we ask them, hey, there is our Discord server, you can go and ask questions there and we will answer you. Uh, moreover, on every Thursday, we tend to get what we call the Wiki Thursdays. It's a campaign started by lovely Wikipedian called Ata, uh, that we every Thursday we meet at some designated place. Uh, previously, it was a place somewhere in, uh, in Kyiv, in some pub or some cafe. Uh, but since year 2020, it's mostly on Discord. And every Thursday, we have a meeting. And if some people don't want to ask questions um, by using text, they can, of course, come to our meetings and ask them in like, voice to voice. Um, yeah, and a little Lithuanian teaser. Uh, this will be, I think, the, the last, last thing uh, that I will talk about. As um, Wikimedia Poland has their organization, their uh, activities, and currently I don't live there. I uh, live in Lithuania, so um, I, this is sort of teaser that we will try to make some organization, some more processes organized in this country. There are um, people who are interested in that, local people who are, tend to get interested, but it's very on uh, starting page. Uh, we are only, it's all the pre preliminary initiative. So, uh, and uh, one of the activities that I want to do in Lithuania is also create some um, event in university that I'm attending for students also is activity that probably will be um, supported by um, local, of course, organizations and also by CEHA. Uh, also, yeah, as, as you can see, um, youth activities also on my t-shirt. Uh, um, so, um, yeah, I think that's all for me. Uh, yeah, if you have any questions, you can ask. Some uh, activities for young people in uh, uh, in different countries, uh, thanks to like immigration now. Because I'm thinking, for example, in Czech Republic, we have hundreds of thousands kids and young people who immigrate to Czech Republic because we have one of the biggest uh, Ukrainian immigration. But we don't, of course, have Ukrainian lectures, but. Um, I'm just thinking if, uh, because I think for like mothers, this is not the issue. I think they are happy if, if that they even have time for them, for, for their kids. But I think maybe like teenagers could be interested if there would be such an like uh, opportunity for them. Uh, this is why I have a special session yet tomorrow oh. about uh, the Ukrainian Wiki Marathon. And uh, I will talk about that um, tomorrow, so you, will, uh, you are likely to attend the session. Uh, it's not only about youth, uh, but it's about activities that we also do internationally, did last year, and we plan to do um, next year. So I will talk about that, but tomorrow. Is there any questions? More? <coughs> Uh, I'm Yuri, also from Ukraine, and I suppose that this uh, separation between young people and old people is rather artificial, because old person is a young person with old skin. So, so I don't see the uh, to pay attention, especially for young, or, or s no, no difference. E everyone can be. It depends on the on the person, not o on the age. Like, uh, I totally support that, and we get we had a big discussion in on the last uh, conference in Poland uh, that was organized by Wikimedia Poland. That was also one of the issues that was raised. But the thing is that we need to, apart from motivation of, like, if Wikimedia Czechia has wonderful events that are um, 
focused on the older people. There are also activities that are focused on the young people. So with an in Wikimedia movement, everything is equally represented in that regard. And as we have many events that are, and we encourage to edit and everyone sort of. On my uh, Wiki trainings, I was training and young people and I was training the old people. So I think, uh, Usually, but yeah, uh, what's was most important in young community that they tend, tend to be more vulnerable towards problems that we have in movement. And so this is the thing that uh, this organization and support from C Hub can be um, quite usefully um, yeah, used. Yeah, exactly. We wanted to as well has a platform where we can ask them what they want instead of like creating something that we think it would be useful. So this is what, of course, I think many of you can relate. It's always to ask. Uh, it's always better to ask. Okay. Thank you very much, Valentin. Thank you. And now we have our amazing designer, graphic designer, Janer. And youth uh, group member. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks. Right. Uh, firstly, I want to say to thank for uh, my user groups and C Yacht group for uh, motivating me uh, about work the Yacht uh, Yacht affairs and uh, projects. Uh, we started Yacht program in Turkey with uh, last year. We had a uh, Wikidata conference for Turkic Wikimedians in Istanbul, Üsküdar University. Uh, a student came to us uh, and she said to us, uh, I want to create a Wikipedia student club in my university. Uh, after then we had to her and uh, we, created a, we created the first Wikipedia student club in Turkey. Uh, this year uh, I'm I'm motivated after then. Uh, then, uh, then, sorry, I'm a little bit excited. Uh, then uh, I'm motivated and uh, I'm creating second uh, stud Wikipedia student club in my university in this year. Uh, we will establish in October. Uh, and uh, we will we will expand our youth potential in my country. As a student and uh, young volunteer of the Wikimedia, uh, I can say volunteering is, needs a big uh, responsibility because uh, you should to always uh, find true knowledge and uh, you need to improve your skills. Also, in my target and in my dream, I want to make local youth groups to, uh, in Turkey and help to for the uh, other Turkic countries. Because uh, as a Turkey, Turkey and, uh, <laughs> and uh, other Turkic countries, we have a lot of young uh, volunteers. Same as coder, same as designer, same as uh, admin any, in any uh, Wikimedia project. I want to uh, collaborate their potential and make some biggest uh, projects. For example, I created a Wikipedia 101 education set for beginners in my university studios. Uh, I made this with uh, Let's Connect program with any another uh, young people around the world. It's very nice. It was very nice. Uh, uh, we in in my country finding out people is a little bit difficult because uh, they want sometimes they want be anonymous. Uh, for this reason, I want to uh, solve this problem with any wiki camps, uh, wiki uh, wiki days, and some uh, little events in future. Thanks for all. Uh, do you have any question about for me? Uh, yeah, I know I know something and I, I want to add you want to add one more thing. You make the one zero one club with 
let's comment. Which country is uh, add to the debt? Ah, okay. Uh, with us, uh, Bangladesh and uh, India. How how are you made it? Uh, I. They, I recorded as Turkish, and uh, they will dub my uh, video to Urdu and Bengal in next month. Subtitles. Yeah. Also, we have English subtitles. Yeah, thank you. That's a, that's amazing. That's amazing. And Jared, as well as a volunteer, it's a it's a author of our beautiful presentation at, uh, of the. Uh, a general presentation for the for the C meeting this year, so he's like a he's a good graphic. Tonight, uh, yes. he, of course. This photo from uh, 20 years old the Turkish Wikipedia with uh, univer first university club members. Yes, thank you, okay. thank you, Junior. Okay, yeah, and now we are we we are calling Dennis. Hey everyone, I am not, how, how long time do I have? You have time. I have time, okay. Hi, my name is uh, Denis Smilovic and I'm gonna tell you about the Cross Project Collaboration Initiative. This was a thing that I founded with a guy named Atza, like maybe half a year ago. Um, essentially the situation that we're seeing with the Serbo-Croatian language space, so this is Croatian, Bosnian, Serbian, and Serbo-Croatian, is that we have a very messy situation, essentially, um, when I was a kid and wrote assignments for school, I would go on Google, write something, find a Wikipedia article, uh, summarize the Wikipedia article, and I was done. Um, but the thing that we have here is that we have four wikis in the same language. And so this is obviously very hard. And when, when those languages, which are not languages, it's the same language, are separated by ethnic lines, uh, obviously, um, things start to get heated. And so you'll have articles in the same topic that are um, basically uh, different, um, going against each other. And so the idea behind the cross-project collaboration initiative is to strengthen the different things that we do across the projects and kind of scale down on the kind of double work that's being done. So there's no reason that we should do things four times when we can do them once and just copy them over. And You'd think this is an easy feat, but um, <laughs> it, it really isn't because, sorry? It is what, what are you saying? Uh, no, it's, it, it's very hard. And so the reason it's very hard is that um, people are on the different wikis for different reasons. And also at the same time, this is a very emotional issue for people. Um, so we're dealing with these emotions, but at the same time, we're also dealing with people that might not be on the different wiki projects from encyclopedic values, but rather nationalist values. And so just kind of creating a forum where people from the different projects can kind of communicate together and figure out like how can we strengthen our goal of free knowledge, which is very controversial to some people, um, is very good. And so we have this set up and running, we're communicating. Obviously it's hard because it's volunteer work, people are doing this in their spare time. And, uh, but we're trying as, as good as we can and you know, these kinds of events really make a difference because we meet other people, we talk, we get each other's private phone numbers and um, we are suddenly able to connect in ways and figure out like, okay, how do we take the next step? What if we want to take these two specific projects and set up something for collaboration? Um, and so I think we're going in the right direction now. Uh, a couple of years back, we saw the dif disinformation campaign on creation Wikipedia. And so we're kind of seeing the same, the contouring of some of the same lines on Serbian Wikipedia now. And so just being able to like uh, talk with each other and communicate across and like, I'm seeing this thing, are you also seeing this thing? Uh, get confirmation of some of these things is, is, is super great and important. Um, and so who is taking part in it? Uh, we are users from all of the different projects. We have administrators, we have some regular users, but it's a group of what, like seven or eight active people, uh, which, which is fine, really. I think as, as we grow more, uh, things get more inefficient. So this is kind of the perfect size. 
and hopefully people slowly get more comfortable being in the group so that our activity level also slowly rises. Um, and so, yeah, I think the most important thing to say right now is that we're dealing with some really big and hard problems and uh, this group cannot solve it because we're just uh, working on collaboration. Uh, now, some of us would really like to see some more uh, serious solution to these issues, obviously from a linguistic and encyclopedic perspective. Um, it should be one project for one language and that's a very controversial thing to say in certain circles, um, but that's really what I want to see. And although that has nothing to do with this thing, um, this kind of um, still helps the situation, not regarding uh, unification, but just making sure that the projects are healthy overall. Um, yeah, and I think it's, it's, we, we have something good going. There are some very passionate people on the different projects. And um, if we can work against disinformation and people using this as nationalist outlets, um, we can improve the state of free knowledge. And I think that if we succeed with the things that we are trying to do, uh, we, would Im we will improve like the general access to uh, knowledge and information and by extension of that, also uh, make education more accessible in this huge region, which, is, uh, which consists of 20 million speakers. So I think we're, we're making a difference, and I think Wikipedia is making a difference, and uh, I think we need to remind ourselves regularly that what we're actually doing here in this university, where we are all like regular people and just hanging out and having fun, it's actually things that are really making a difference at the end of the day. Okay, thank you everyone. So, uh, thank you, Denise. It's a super interesting uh, challenge, and uh, I think like we all holding, yeah, I know, fingers crossed to your initiative, and uh, and what's like important to say that like this historical background of it it's like super complicated and there there are like regions that been excluded so it's like a really huge task so um uh, fingers crossed and that's great that you even started this and it really sh could bring a uh, like a uh, huge difference and great that you build this on ide ideal because at the end of the day this is all we have and it's not like something foolish it's something very important to talk as well about uh, this idealistic things but because it's our belief at the end of the day and I think we don't cover this enough so thank you uh, is there any questions for Dennis yes Dennis, thank you very much. Actually, you are doing a great job trying to uniting all these language groups, as you said, that in fact are one language. Uh, you already said that it's actually complicated, but I mean, how do you think? Uh, like, uh, if you, I, I'm not one to say that not succeeded, but are you aware that in this path, if you don't unite all groups, there is a risk that you will create the fifth language group. Like you all be like the fifth language group, which will contribute in the language, and the rest four will remain. How do you see? Is there any risk or not? Can you just repeat? <laughs> okay. I mean, you are trying to unify all four language groups and uh, start to contribute in one language. Am I right? Okay, if you're not succeeded in this part, your group would be the fifth language group. There's a great XKCD on this exact issue with like, there are 26 competing standards, so we'll invent a new one to like, account for all the possibilities and suddenly you have 27 competing standards. Um, Actually, the first thing that I need to say is that this exact issue has nothing to do with the cross-project collaboration initiative. Uh, 
the CPCI accepts the current four uh, language projects as they are, and we strengthen collaboration between those. Now, separate from that, I personally want to see this become one project, and so I think it's a great question to ask how do we actually do that. Um, we're not going to create a new project that's going to be a mess. Um, it's going to create the problem that you're highlighting. What I really want to see is that we take two of the communities that are the most healthy and most approachable at this time and start merging those. When that's done, it would be great to take the next one in line and hopefully by that time, the kind of uh, community behind that place will also be more ready to do this. And then in the end, uh, we will have, you know, uh, merged all four projects. This is, a, this is a huge feat, but we've come a long way. Um, again, this has nothing to do with this project. But when I started talking about this a year ago, people were like, it is impossible. Like, and the first thing they would mention were like technical reasons. And so, but, but the thing is that um, I think what has been interesting is that what I have been up against a lot of the time, and not just here in Wiki, Wikimedia, it's also in other places that people say it's impossible, and then you're like, okay, but like, what is actually the issue? Like, tell me what's wrong. Um, and then as soon as you start highlighting what is actually behind this issue, I feel like a solution always tends to like show itself in that process. Um, and yeah, so we're not making a fifth project. Um, we will try to uh, take what we have. We have the technical solutions available to do this. What we lack right now is just support from the communities. And that's what we're slowly, I mean, we're not as in the CPCI, but me and certain other editors who are very passionate about uh, this exact outcome, which we feel will make sense from an encyclopedic and linguistic and just general common sense background. Thank you. Uh, you mentioned four languages, yeah? Uh, do they have the same alphabet or different alphabet? Yes, uh, great question. Um, so we have two alphabets. Uh, Croatian is. Please uh, name those uh, languages. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Croatian is Latin. Um, Bosnian, I think, technically is also Latin. Um, Serbo Croatian has a dual alphabet of Latin and Cyrillic. And Serbian also has, like, uh, sorry, not alphabet, but script. And Serbian also has dual script, so they do both Cyrillic and Latin. Now, the great thing is that you can just do a one-to-one -one conversion, uh, pretty much. Um, there are some, like, edge cases with, like, in Serbian, you will see names spelled phonetically, which is not the case for some of the other projects. But in the end, basically, we have two scripts. You can convert between them. It's super easy. Um, one of our guy, one of the really... Uh, great contributors, uh, his name is uh, Atza, build a uh, language converter that uh, we were able to um, merge into the Serbo Croatian Wikipedia. And now, so I think we made some really good technical decisions. I come from a technical background. Um, and so we keep the, the source in Latin. And then if anyone wants to see it in Cyrillic, we can do the conversion like that. Uh, we got that merged into the Wikimedia code base. It's there now. I think we made some really nice technical decisions, and so that's hopefully also going to be useful to, to other people. So it's an issue, but it's a solvable issue, and we're some very competent people working on this, and so we, we have made some nice solutions. We're not all the way there, but it, it's not a blocker, uh, on the contrary. Barbara and, and Tony and their work in C Hub, we were as well able to meet new people who are from the region that are not that well represented, maybe even here. So uh, we have uh, one last uh, contributor who's not here because he couldn't be, but he's from Greece and it's Nikos. And here is his very short video for you.
we can start. Even, even though Nikos is not in person here, you might maybe notice this, that he is one of the uh, most frequent contributors to our Telegram group, so every second or third comment uh, is from Nikos. <laughs> so, he's yeah, so he basically our guide through the, this CE meeting to tell us what's going on, what works, what, what doesn't work. He's so passionate and enthusiastic and we should appreciate it. Obviously, obviously. So uh, that's all from uh, our young people. Feel free, of course, to, to approach them personally. Uh, are there any questions towards us as like the uh, people behind uh, the scene? Or is there anything what would be useful for you? Or any feedback what we should be focused on in next year? What would you feel it's uh, important not to miss? What would uh, be beneficial for you? Maybe anything, uh, anything like that. Uh, if not, thank you for your time. We already have today the workshop uh, uh, for like second year of CE Hub, and we covered as well many topics. You could see uh, the Jan's back with all the ideas for youth group for next year on our Telegram group as well. It was f all suggestion from people who participated, so we definitely take this into consideration, and we are open to any feedbacks uh, whenever. And we saved some time, so we will sync now for. 15 minutes together and Christmas if you songs. yeah Christmas songs or you can <laughs> or you're free to go and uh, we can enjoy Saturday evening together social uh, I, yeah. <coughs> I, I hope that you saw Mehman's messages we should be 5:30 at the yeah. hotel uh, no no he changed it okay yeah, okay yeah. then don't listen to me from hotel rooms from one okay. by one. Not at all, like rooms.